Today we are learning how to identify fractions in groups of objects. In this video, I'm hoping you've already watched our introduction to fractions and understand fractions represent pieces or parts of a whole. Fractions are written like this. The numerator or top number represents how many pieces we have. And the bottom number, the denominator, represents the total number of pieces in a whole. Therefore, in this image, we have the fraction 2 thirds. But let's say I had this bag of marbles and I dumped it on a table. I want to figure out what fraction of these marbles are blue. Let's remember that there are two parts of a fraction. The numerator tells us how many pieces we have. In this situation, that means how many blue marbles do we have? Well, we can count that we have one, two, three blue marbles, so our numerator is three. The denominator represents the total number of pieces in the whole, which here is the total number of marbles on the table. Well, how many marbles are there in total? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight marbles in total. So the denominator is eight. We can say that three-eighths of the marbles are blue. Now let's look at one of these together. Here is a pack of cupcakes. Some of the cupcakes are vanilla and others are chocolate. We want to know what fraction of the cupcakes are chocolate well, if I'm looking for the fraction of cupcakes that are chocolate, I can start by counting the number of chocolate cupcakes. How many chocolate cupcakes are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chocolate cupcakes. Where should this number seven go? Seven represents the number of chocolate cupcakes we have. So this is the numerator or the top number of our fraction. Now to find the denominator, we need to count up the total number of objects, or cupcakes. How many cupcakes are there in total? There are 10 cupcakes in total. The denominator of the fraction is 10. We can say 7 tenths of the cupcakes are chocolate. Here's another problem to practice with. Five students were asked what their favorite sport was. Their responses are in the table below. What fraction of the students said soccer was their favorite sport? Let's solve this piece by piece. What should the numerator of this fraction be? The numerator will be the number of students that said their favorite sport is soccer. We could count that one, two, three students said soccer was their favorite sport. Next, what should the denominator of this fraction be? The denominator will be the total number of students, which here is five students. The denominator is five. We can say three-fifths of the students said soccer was their favorite sport. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What fraction of these triangles are green? The numerator of the fraction is the number of green triangles. We can see there's one, two, three, four green triangles, so the numerator is four. The denominator will be the total number of triangles. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six triangles, so the denominator of this fraction is six. Therefore, four-sixths of these triangles are green. Here's your last problem for this video. Eight students were asked what their favorite meal of the day was. These were their responses. What fraction of the students said breakfast was their favorite meal? The numerator will be how many students said breakfast was their favorite. We can see that one, two, three students said breakfast was their favorite meal. The denominator is the total number of students. We can see a total of eight students were asked. Therefore, three-eighths of the students said breakfast was their favorite meal. Today you learned how to identify a fraction from a group.